Michael Buffer in the house. Uh, How are you, man? Good to see you. I, tell us about coming out here for uh, this benefit. Uh, it's a great cause, a great thing to support. You know, our kids and Olympic team, we, we've had so many great Olympic teams in the past that I, I think, you know, uh, we, we haven't seen that, uh, you know, uh, Oscar De La Hoya in uh, 92, was it? Uh, was the only American to win a gold medal in that games, and uh, so and you don't have the, those big names coming out of the Olympics like uh, we just had Holyfield and Henry Tillman here from the '84 team. I mean, what a, what a team! Probably like 30 total world championship belts in the professional ranks from all from that team. You know, Mark Breland, Brunel Whitaker, Meldrick Taylor, just a great list of fighters. '76, Sugar Ray Leonard. Um, yeah, the, I mean, classic fighters that we all know and everything. So uh, the important thing right now is, you know, tax dollars don't support the U.S. Uh, boxing team. And um, so we need to get support to get these kids into these competitive games to get used to the international rules, which are very, um, very sensitive and very uh, dictatorial and, and precise. And so we, we want to try to get them in as many competitions leading up to the Olympics you know, with other countries, including Cuba and the European teams, and, and to develop their um, ability to compete internationally and get used to those rules and scoring system especially. Now, if you guys don't recognize this guy, you are the voice of boxing. You are the voice I've of boxing. I've heard that before, I guess, yeah. You know, you're, you're famous for Let's Get Ready to Rumble. Was that a script that was given to you, or was that something that you came up, you know, doing, doing the hosting in the ring? Well, you know, it's interesting because when I first started, I noticed there was a point in the big fights where when the fighters come to the ring with music and it's exciting, it's electric, and then the ring announcer has to introduce all these commissioners and the doctors and the judges and the president of this organization. Right, right. And, and it's super long. Yeah, and you've killed the crowd. I mean, you've actually, like, you've, took, you, you've lost that energy. So I wanted something that would be comparable to uh, gentlemen start your engines. And people hear that, they go crazy because it means a race is going to start. So I wanted to bring the electricity back to when I introduce the fighters, who are the stars of the show, I want them to have the audience like really back on their feet again. And I tried to man your battle stations and, you know, ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelt. Oh, you know, nothing worked. And, uh, of course, you know... I love your voice. How do you just like, you just like kind of, well, what do you do to, to get that ring announcer voice? Well, I'll tell you, I don't know. But anyway, the great Muhammad Ali used to have a whole thing before he was a master of publicity and he used to say oh i'm so pretty i'm running up and down mountains i'm i'm a weights down to 212 and i'm i'm ready to rumble and so he had that little phrase ready to rumble so i kind of took it and fine-tuned it to let's get ready to rumble and uh, that's what you hear today another thing that people you know may not recognize you from is you worked with adam sandler and don't mess with the zohan you don't mess with, i was the villain yeah. Yeah. Co-starred in that puppy. How, how was that? How's working with them? I, let me tell you, Adam, it, it's like, this is probably one of the greatest guys in Hollywood because it, it's not just his movies. You know, he has Happy Chandler Productions yeah. and they make other films, you know, and, and he's you know, with Judd Apatow and, you know, great producer, director and everything. And they keep a whole gang of like a thousand people at steady jobs. And that is one of the best things about him. You know, every year, Christmas party for 2,000 people. and everything. Because it's just, yeah, I mean, let's face it, guys that are, whether they're grips or drivers or cameramen, it's, it's movie to movie. But when you get to work with Adam and, and his production company, you know, all these guys work all the time. And that, that's, that just tells you the type of person he is. Just a great guy. Does he crack jokes all the time, even off, off set, off, you know, off, off camera? All, all the time. time, yeah. Always, but uh, uh, just a very serious guy, a sensitive guy, you know, happily married, beautiful kids, and just, I, I can't say enough about him. I, I had a, an illness that I went through, and like one of the very first phone calls was from Adam Sandler. Wow, and, great yeah, guy. great guy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for SLTV.